one that is my absolute favorite. Cocaine Bear is out in theaters right now, directed by Elizabeth Banks. And one of my favorite things about based on true event movies or based on true story movies is the fact that afterwards, if I really enjoy the movie, I can go and actually research what did happen, what did they stretch the truth on. And most of the times, a small percentage of what truly happened makes it on screen. Now, I walked out of Cocaine Bear really enjoying it, so I was extra excited to figure out what actually happened with this insane story, what I just watched on screen. The true story behind Cocaine Bear started back in September of 1985, when convicted drug smuggler Andrew Thornton died after a parachuting accident. Thornton was traveling in a plane with about 880 pounds of cocaine and thought the feds were trailing him. So, he decided to throw some of the stash out of the plane and take some more with him when he parachuted out. Thornton was reported dead on September 11th, 1985, when he was found in a driveway in Knoxville, Tennessee, with roughly $15 million worth of cocaine strapped to his body. A bear did not enter the picture until four months later. The New York Times reported in December 1985 that a 175 pound black bear died of an overdose of cocaine after discovering a batch of the drug. The bear was found dead in Chihuchi National Forest located in Georgia. The real bear ate about 75 pounds or 34 kilos of cocaine valued at about $2 million. Dr. Alonzo had the bear taxidermied and gave it to the Chihuchi River National Recreation Area. The screenwriter of Cocaine Bear, Jimmy Warden, told Variety, The film is not historical fiction, but my twisted fantasy of what I wish actually happened. So while the true events of Cocaine Bear may not be as thrilling or bloody or scary as what you may have seen in the movie Cocaine Bear, I was still entertained and there is some really cool history behind what actually happened. And even though the history is short, it still is interesting.